Pat Buteau, by the way. Sick cold intro, man. <laughs> oh yeah, hell yeah. Well, so Bring the Ruckus was my my walkout music in my uh my my rec softball league. Okay. When I went up to bat, so I felt like that would be appropriate. Yeah, Bring the Ruckus. So Adobe House is is the company that produces all these fine shows, and uh, mm -hmm. it started with uh, I was in college in Tucson. We were doing music. We moved to LA in um, 2018. We we're there for a few years, and we had uh, a, we rented a property in South LA um, near USC. I don't know where LA you're at, but uh, there's a, a freaking backyard. But we had like six, seven, eight people living there. But like a beautiful property, and uh, just with a backyard, so we threw shows um, for for a few years and kind of produced live events. And so when our group was gonna go on, then our our our, our walkout song was was "Bring the Ruckus." So oh fuck yeah! I mean, come on, you know, it, like it was funny because like the group uh, was like. A, a singer and then like two like underground rappers that like 2000s new york rap and then another person who just like mainstream stuff and then we played with like a live band of like jazz musicians so it was just oh, like cool. a weird mosh pot of random people and then you come out to bring the ruckus and it's just so fun. yeah <laughs> that sets the tone you know yeah it did and it gets you pumped you're like yeah dude I am about oh, man. ruckus, you know. That's how I felt going up to bat, man. I would be like, I'm about to, I'm about to fucking crack a home run right now. Uh, g give me a little intro of yourself, Mister Buto. What do you do in your daily life? What do you enjoy? What do you, what are your goals? <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> okay. Past, present, uh, future, right off top in about four sentences. Okay. 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 Past. Uh. Uh. Th theater kid. Okay um present uh middling commercial actor and content creator uh future um you know time will tell let's say probably uh middling commercial actor <laughs> and content creator uh maybe top you know what i mean maybe we get to the top we get a flow type situation going on sure. you know what i mean um and uh and then after that, I think probably death. <laughs> that usually comes. I don't it's know. It's my understanding. I mean, I haven't died yet. So me neither. I can't. Thankfully. Firm or deny. Um, yeah. So is the commercial you're talking about Hyundai? That's the one we got going at, at the moment. Uh to tell me about Hyundai. Uh well, well it's a Korean car company. <laughs> <laughs> Market cap of about. Uh, uh, so you're in LA. You, you said you uh, were from Michigan. Yeah. Did you did you go to school and then LA or, or what's that timeline? I went to school. So I so so I was actually I was born in Pennsylvania. And my dad was in the Navy, so we moved around a bunch, including to Guam at one point. Um, but pretty much all of my childhood was in Michigan from ages like four until eighteen. Uh, and then I went to college in. Evanston, Illinois, which is like right next to Chicago. Um, normally I just say Chicago, but people from Chicago will be like, Evanston's not Chicago. And it's like, it's not, but like if people aren't, you know, from the Midwest, they don't care that you just say Chicago and they're like, okay. But anyway, it was in Evanston. Uh, and then, yeah. And then right after uh, college, I, I packed up the Hyundai, as a matter of fact, the Elantra, the 2012 Elantra that I still have to this day that has given me so many fucking problems lately. <laughs> I was about it's to just say, falling apart. I was about to say what a what a nice you know triumphant Hyundai story you have, but it doesn't they're matter. barely they're barely covering the fucking repairs. <laughs> just to be real, okay. So you packed uh, up the Hyundai and, and uh... packed up the Hyundai and drove out here. Okay, right on. I've been long? here for oh. like seven years. Oh man, so you're you're basically just someone who was born in LA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After I think six years, you become a lifer they give you your official license yeah, i got my life i got my key to the city they give you a they give you this <laughs> that's, that's I, I don't think anybody who is not originally from california would have that ever they don't just hand that out no. to just anybody <laughs> no, they hand it out to you know what I mean? from the midwest who have been in la for seven years 
yeah, this is legally like I can get I can get out of a murder rap with this thing. I just flash this and they're like, oh, sir, be on your way. Oh, man. The Golden State. <laughs> seven years. Um, wait, what, what year was seven years ago? 2014. 2014. What was going on in August 2014? You have a, a day to the day? August what? Uh, I don't remember the exact day. Like late, late August. Okay. Um, what was going on? Uh, I feel like it was mostly the same. <laughs> there was a drought. Yeah. Occasional earthquakes. Yeah, yeah. Bad traffic. Less COVID. That was something 2014 had going up. Pretty much no COVID as far as I'm aware back then. Sure. Um, except for in the lab, you know what I mean? But we won't talk about that. I don't yeah, want to get right, you no, banned off your socials. Let's get into it, dude. China. <laughs> Wuhan, the, 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 let's China. get into <laughs> Let's get into the red meat of the conversation, dude. That's, a, that's probably another like kind of a little under layer of, of what the, I just you just saw my hair clip, didn't you? Um yeah, I don't know. I I have I haven't actually done my my research, but I trust people that have done their research that you know labs. Um, I was just getting a haircut yesterday, and I was telling my barber, I was like, I don't have opinions on it anymore. I gassed out on being like, oh well, if you, uh, but it's airborne, but but surfaces, but but the mask inside. I don't have an opinion anymore. I just like, oh, I can go get my haircut, but I just have to wear a mask. Cool, I'll take it. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not complaining. Like whatever. Yeah, there there is probably less uh, L.A. place restrictions in 2014. See, so, yeah, I, I was I moved. So I was living in this house with eight people in L.A. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then bring the ruckus house. Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, Adobe house, but, if, you know, branding is a little more than that. Uh, OK. But yes, it was a it was a, a ruckus filled house. It was yeah. a ruckus filled. Um, COVID hit. And we got evicted like a week before or something. Or COVID was no. like, it was the beginning of 2020. And I think we got the eviction notice. People were just not paying rent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> allegedly. I was. I'm a good citizen. I pay taxes too. Uh, you should have not paid, dude. If you're going to get evicted anyway, that's fuck it. That's what. Okay. So Bond's not here right now. But uh, I was living. I was going to say, where's your co-host? Is he just know. sitting silently? <laughs> He's just waiting for his moment to pop in. <laughs> He, he would pop in right now and say, yeah, uh, MFers, I, I was paying my rent and these other cats were uh, not paying their rent. I could have not paid my rent and get scared with my credit. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's what, that's what he would chime in and say. Um, he's off doing some LA event. I don't know. <laughs> but now it allows me to go potentially over 30 minutes because I allegedly haven't paid for Zoom Pro, so I can't go over three. 30 minutes with more than oh yeah but you know it's neither here nor there um yeah uh so we got evicted and moved out to la i'm originally from san diego college was in tucson where we started the whole shebang and uh so i i moved out of la in san diego right now um so yeah that's my my la timeline um but yeah there's there's kind of I, I haven't checked in on the the LA uh, governor restrictions yet in a while. How's it going up there? Basically, you can just do everything. You just have to wear a mask inside. I see. I see. And it's the restaurant thing of like you wear the mask when you walk in, and then you sit down at the table, and you don't have to. And then you go to the bathroom and you put it back on. But sometimes some people don't, and it doesn't seem like anybody's hassling them. But then, you know, I'm just trying not to get yelled at. Sure. That's my. So if it feels like I'm going to get yelled at, I'll put the mask on. And if it feels like other people are getting away with it and I don't have to wear it, then I'll, I'll not wear it. 